Hello you guys, welcome back. It's been a minute since I've posted. Yeah, I took an unexpected break for two months from YouTube. I, yeah, as I said, I wasn't expecting to take a break, but I just did everything around my channel just felt too overwhelming and I just had no motivation to do absolutely anything. So I let it sit and then I let it sit and then I thought I was ready and then I let it sit some more, but now I am back. For now, I've got some Cinderella content to bring you guys. And if you were following along with the six content, I am gonna drop the third and final part of that very soon. But yeah, I just wanted to jump in and do a little vlog today. Um, I've gotta to go do some shopping for Cinderella and then I've got a project to work on for Cinderella. And I thought I would give you guys, I would give you guys an explanation as to where I've been, what I've been up to in the last two months since you guys have seen me. And yeah, do a little chill, get back into the groove of everything. Um, and then I will release the videos that I've already filmed. So you guys might have seen in the little intro there that I have my little Cinderella book here. This is my book where I keep all my props and all that sort of stuff. Well, I don't keep the props in here, but my list of props for the show. And I was just making a little shopping list of stuff I need to go and buy today. Uh, we're just sort of touching the surface today and just doing a little bit of a toe dip in getting stuff ready because I have a lot of stuff that I want to do for this production, but I have a lot of content to film. I want to share it all with you guys. Uh, but yes, today we're just doing a couple of little errands and running those I have a whole video of how I set up this book and how I did my initial props list coming it was meant to drop a little while ago but life so we are just rolling with this content so if you're keen to see any of that then stick around be sure to smash the like button because it lets me know you want to see more content like this as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss any of my updates and if you notice I'm sounding a little bit nasal I'm coming to the tail end of some sickness um so I'm not contagious I sound way worse than I am I feel fine and we are gonna go to the shops quickly All right, we are back and it is time for a mini haul. And I do mean mini because you barely saw any shopping and I literally was popping in and popping out. So uh, you guys would have seen that I picked up this bunting in Kmart. Now I love this bunting because, one second. This bunting is like a calico that is really, really great. Um, you can leave it as is, but um, I'm actually going to paint on it. Now I've done this before. I did this when I did Keeping Up Appearances in 2022. I don't know if I showed that on my, on my channel or not, but basically these are so easy to paint and I am of the opinion to work smarter, not harder. And um, I could have made bunting, but this was definitely a faster and cheaper option. So if you are, 
are on a budget, um, buying pre-made bunting is probably a great option. So I will paint that this afternoon with you guys when I go through what's been going on in my life. But yeah, so they were $5.50 each from Kmart. Now the design that we're going for, they will be flown in and I'm not quite sure. They'll either be hung like this on the bar or they're going to be flown down and attached to a set piece. Either way, I needed quite a lot of length. So the drop from the the normal drop from the battens or the bars um, and all of that to the stage is around about the six meter mark, could be, could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more. So I got more bunting just to be on the safe side. You can always have slack and, you know, tie it off. So these measure 3.6 meters each and I got six, so three for each side of the stage and I'm going to just attach the ends together. Um, so, yeah, so that should give me enough distance there. Now the colors that we are going with are like deep, regal colors so they're quite dark um <laughs> so we're going with some sort of olive green color here uh we have this this is called permanent red but it's like a burgundy maroon color it doesn't quite show on camera but it's a darker red purple deep purple that's a very bluish purple but anyway so hopefully it comes out in the um the painting and this lovely blue here so we're going with like again that regal sort of color um on all of the bunting you guys would have seen me before making my um lunch so this is normally a breakfast for me is overnight oats um but it's lunch today because i wanted to try the dairy free um up and goes because I have been having some like food issues and I've just started like eliminating foods and not eliminating, but like, you know, minimizing them. And I found that the regular up and goes were starting to make me feel a bit sick. So I've switched to dairy free to see if that makes any difference. And I'm, I'm not, not having gluten either, but I'm just, I'm limiting my gluten. Um, and I've never been a huge breakfast eater at all, but I have fallen in love with overnight oats, even though it is lunch today. And so this is like an apple and cinnamon one, which I have just been enjoying so much. It's so yummy. Um, let me know if you do want to know the recipe. I mean, I can't claim it. I hundred percent stole it. I found it on TikTok, but it's, it's so yummy. It just made me fall in love with breakfast and it's something that I look forward to eating every day and it gives me so much energy. And so like, even though I'm having it for lunch, I know I'm not going to be hungry till dinner, which is fantastic. I also got three fat quarters as well. If you don't know what a fat quarter is, it's a quilting term. It's a measurement for fabric. You can look it up. I'm not going to go into the details now, but these are actually for, um, some fake sausages that I'm going to make. So stay tuned if you do want to see me make these because I'm really, really excited for them. And I mentioned them in the video where I go through my props book and how I put all that together. And it's definitely a project I'm very much looking forward to. So got them for that as well. When it comes to prop shopping, it can become overwhelming very, very quickly. Um, so I decided because I've got a lot of other things that I need to get done today. Like I've got to do some uni work. I've also got to... Um, list some stuff on Poshmark. Um, and if you don't know what Poshmark is, if you're in Australia, you might not know, but if you're in America or the UK or other parts of the world, you probably will have heard of it. But um, I recently got onto Poshmark, which is basically like an online op shop. So I really love op shopping. Um, and I'm kind of on a little bit of a ban for fast fashion at the moment. Um, and like really trying to, you know, buy secondhand and all that sort of stuff. And I like, I think the, the thing that, you know, attracts me to buying first fashion is not the fact that it's, it's new. It's the fact that it's convenient and it's like, and there's just so much of it. And like, you have to do a lot, like anyone who goes to an op shop will admit, like you have to do a lot more sifting to find the gold. The great thing about Poshmark is that you can search. So it is an online, as I said, online op shop that you can like search for things. You can search for brands and you can find some really cool things. And I bought some stuff off there, which I love love and I've also sold some things too so I'm gonna drop my link uh, my referral link down in the comments um, so if you do sign up for Poshmark if you do use my referral code you will get ten dollars uh, for joining and then I will get ten dollars if you sell something so after your first order I will receive ten dollars but that's not why I'm promoting it I actually just genuinely love the platform you can also look up Poshmark on your own time there's no qualms there. I really do believe in the platform. I think it's amazing. Um, and yeah, I found some, it's a really great community on there as well. So yes, I've got some clothes to list on Poshmark. Um, so I'm going to do that this afternoon as well after we do our painting. Prop shopping for me is something that 
fits in around my regular schedule. Like I have a job and I have other things going on. So often it is just like a case of I'll go to the shops and I'll buy these materials that are for a longer project or something like that. So there's a lot of things that, you know, are still on my list to buy, but it was not things that I could commit to buying today. Um, so I like to purchase things that I know either are difficult to find first or materials for things that I need to make. So things that will take the most time are usually the things that I do first because, I, for example, I need to buy a whole lot of um, fake vines and all that sort of stuff for this show, but I also know that those sorts of things don't regularly sell out and I will be able to get them closer to the time. So it seems a bit silly to buy them now when I need time to allow like the paint to dry for this. And I know that like paint, like acrylic paint doesn't take a really long amount of time but it's still it's going to take it's a project that's going to take you know a couple of hours for me to do and like they'll need multiple coats so it's it's a whole big exercise and it's the same with like buying the fat quarters because this project is also going to take a little bit of time This is a very strange angle and I just had a quick wardrobe change. Uh, you guys would have seen this in many videos. Um, it's one of my painting clothes um, because I don't want to get paint on myself. I know I'm going to get it on my hands, that's just inevitable. But um, So yes, I've got this lined up and yes, I'm doing it on a carpeted floor. I would recommend using newspaper or a tarp anyway, but especially on this. And if you are trying this at home, make sure that the top of the bunting is all in line and not twisted. otherwise. The wrong sides are going to be at the front but also that kind of only is really relevant if you're only painting one side up to you what you're going to do the hardest part of this is always choosing what the pattern is going to be i really don't want to have the purple and the blue next to each other because i feel like that's not a good idea so i think i'm going to go i don't know if you can see like purple red blue green um and i'm really happy because i had these little paintbrushes which are actually quite thick which I feel like I actually bought in a pack um, when I was doing props for Alice in Wonderland for the painting the roses red and I'll link that video if you wanted to check that out but um, I feel like these just came with it and so I ended up with these and I'm super super grateful because I do not want to be using a tiny brush on all of the painting that I've got to do. I know you guys give me crap for this all the time yes I have not replaced my painting palette yet it's still got crusty paint on there that has been there for years and it just is what it is at this point. Um, I usually buy a lot of my materials in Spotlight. Um, so if you do live in Australia, you probably know Spotlight is a wonderful arts and crafts and fabric and material and home goods store, kind of like a Hobby Lobby if you're in America. Anyways, I love Spotlight for all that it is. Um, they usually have a lot of sales, but a lot of you know Spotlight can be pricey. If you do love Spotlight and you might want a little bit of a discount, I'm going to link my code down below. It is an affiliate code, so I do get commission if you use it, but that's not why I'm promoting Spotlight. I generally just do love Spotlight, but if you are interested in all, I will leave my code down below. Okay, so where have I been the last two months? As I said in the beginning, I just, I wasn't, um, I just wasn't in a place where I felt like I could film. Like I all of a sudden was doing fine. Like I was fine. And then all of a sudden I just wasn't. And I don't know what exactly happened. I just, I was trying to edit a video and I just all of a sudden couldn't. And I don't know why it was just very overwhelming. And the last 12 months for me have been absolutely massive. And I'm not gonna share with you everything that's been going on, but um, I've had a lot of um, things going on in my personal life and 
mental health and just I just really needed to not do anything with my channel for a while and I was getting a bit scared because I didn't miss it at all and I was like Ooh, am I gonna go back at all and so the answer to that is obviously I am back but I don't know in what capacity I'm back I don't know as in like I have content to film but after Cinderella I don't know where I'm at with my channel and I think I'll probably keep it but I don't know what it's going to look like and that's fine like that's part of the journey and you know like this year I found out that I have dyslexia and so like that sort of popped up in my For You page on TikTok and I was looking at some stuff and you know laughing at like dyslexic things that you know only us dyslexics get and then I, I stumbled into the um ADHD side of TikTok and my partner has ADHD um and so I'm supporting them so some stuff like that often does crop up and like they send me stuff as well but um but yeah I I stumbled onto that side of TikTok and not that I was self-diagnosing I've since seen my psychologist and talked about it but I'm starting the process of hopefully getting diagnosed with ADHD um which is a really big deal it's it's been so validating but like there's so many girls who you know got missed um and weren't um weren't seen and all that sort of stuff and you know it's been a really validating process but um the last couple of months I've really just needed to work on myself and um healing because I've I've had an absolutely massive year and um I had to come to terms with a lot of stuff myself, I had to forgive myself, I had to deal with a lot of stuff from my past, um, which I've now done and I feel so much better for it, like I feel so much more relaxed, I have so much more peace, um, but that's come from, um, that's come from all the work that I've done and some people will, like, I know that I said like the ADHD, um, potential diagnosis was a shock, but for me it was just so validating to feel like I'm not alone, you know, there are so many girls who are being diagnosed later in life because we got missed because it looks so different on women to um, men. And, you know, as I said, it's just been really, really validating. And um, part of the reason that I was able to come back was the fact that um, the acknowledgement of that has helped me to come to terms with, as I said, things from my past and like things that I've done all things that have happened to me and just, you know, to mark, just to sort of mark what's been going on and, and I guess, as I said, like be kinder to myself and not get so angry about things and realise that there's a reason that I struggle to complete tasks sometimes or why I leave doing props to the last minute and all these sorts of things and um, it's, it's super, super um, helpful. So. I've, I've been doing a lot of healing. I mean, you would have seen like the oats that I was eating this morning. Um, it's just making little pivotal changes, but in order to get to this good place, I had to do a lot of foundational work on myself and that's really what I've been doing the last couple of months. Yeah, I just, I just don't want to be fake with you guys. I don't, like if, if I don't want to film, I'm not going to um, and that's okay. Like a part of this was also putting in a lot of boundaries with myself and, and um, learning, almost sort of parenting myself in a way. Um, but learning um, where the boundaries are for me and when I get overstimulated and how to actually deal with that now that I know that like I'm not suffering alone because there's so much information out there about like ADHD especially in girls um, it was it was really validating and really easy to find ways to help I guess if that makes sense so this is one strand of the bunting obviously I have a lot more to go but it's looking great um, and if at the start of this video the um, audio was strange, I realised my microphone wasn't plugged in properly. And if the lighting is strange right now, it's because it is the most cloudy day outside and it's raining and it's cold and miserable. So that's why the lighting is the way it is, because we've got the fairy lights on, creating a nice glow and... These have been there since Easter, since my niece and nephew visited. I clearly have not put them away yet. But anyways, as I said, the bunting is looking great and I'm really happy with it. Well, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you for tuning in to today's little mini vlog. I'm just going to continue painting the bunting this afternoon, which is cathartic in its own way. So there are some props making things that I do find relaxing when they're repetitive. Usually I just put on a TV show or 
you know watch YouTube while I'm doing it so a uh, great opportunity to catch up on everything there um, so yes stay tuned I will post my video on how I put together this book very very soon and of course finish the six series which I should have posted ages ago um, and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and list my items on Poshmark so if you do want to check out Poshmark see my link down below before you go be sure to smash the like button because it lets me know you like seeing content like this as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss any of my Cinderella content and all the other content upcoming. Thank you so much for the support and the love and for those of you who checked in while I was away I am okay and I will see you guys next time. Bye!